It's something about the king of uh, Greece. Yeah, 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 we did get to the king of Greece at one point. Spider monkey. Spider monkey. Got oh. eaten by a monkey or something. He did get eaten by a monkey. History. Not a spider monkey. What? He knows that stuff. I don't. <laughs> Why was it important to right. pass the Jobs Ohio bill so quickly, considering you guys were still talking to us? Well, it really. I mean, here, here. My understanding is there was an agreement reached, and the bill is passed by the House. Uh, effectuates that agreement. Um, and, uh, and, and from that perspective, I think the language essentially does what the agreement said. Senator Seitz negotiated that, you heard them say that. Uh, there is that one area that was added for Ohio State, uh, which I think was generally agreed on. Uh, that was the only area that is of, of, of discussion. But uh, this effectuates that. This is not a rushed process. This discussion has been going on for over a year. Um, I personally have negotiated uh, linked with the uh, Otter Yost and uh, former Justice Cup in his office and, and the Jobs Ohio folks and uh, Senator Seitz has done the same. So from that perspective, uh, I think this is a fair balance, a fair compromise, and it, it allows us to move forward on, on that program while maintaining what we all believe in, and that's transparency. This allows uh, all of the government funds there to be audited. And that's the most important factor. Uh, it also requires a, a continuation of audit standards that uh, are, are appropriate and uh, at the same time gives the auditor additional roles. So it, it lends uh, it ends ambiguity on both sides. The auditor has clearly has some concerns still about this language. Why not give him a chance to review it and maybe come in and, and testify, talk to, talk to folks about it? Uh, again, my understanding is the auditor had reviewed it now. I know his letter indicated something to the con contrary, but my understanding is this was a language that was essentially agreed on. I think Senator Seitz testified to that. You mentioned transparency, but as I understand the amendment, there'll be a private audit of Jobs Ohio, but you wouldn't see how the funds were spent, you know, specifically how much money went to any individual company. Yeah, but remember, the other part of, of yeah, you wouldn't up front. You would, so not even after the fact. Well, yes, that's, I don't think that's accurate. Uh, my understanding, and this is not taking me on a dangerous path <laughs> down, downstream, but remember, current law requires that Jobs Ohio publish what they do after the fact, as long as it doesn't violate a trade secret type issue. So my understanding is that's, that's where we're at. The big issue here is, is what does the auditor do? My understanding is this amendment continues to keep the issue. If there's commingled funds, the auditor gets to audit commingled funds. But the auditor doesn't get to audit private money. And that's the big distinction here. So you will see at some point how much Jobs Ohio spent for any particular project, for example? Well, my understanding is as long as you're not getting into a trade secret issue, I think the answer to that is yes. That's always been the plan for Jobs Ohio. They publish what they do. I think there's a lag after the fact. Senator, the uh, Finance Committee is considering an amendment that would raise the other tobacco products tax.